Hello homeowners, in this video I'm going to share with you three things that are going to break in your Samsung fridge. These facts are based on technical appliance repair experience with fixing Samsung fridges over the last five years. Hey, I'm Garrick. I run my appliance repair business here in Calgary. On my YouTube channel, I post a video for you with the tips on how to maintain your home appliances and what can be wrong with your appliances if it's acting up. In order to help us with making more and more videos like that, please consider subscribing. Samsung is doing a really good job promoting their appliances and lots of homeowners in the US and Canada purchased they are over the last 10-15 years. Almost a quarter of all of the fridges sold in the US and in 2020 were Samsung's. 23.7% can you imagine that of course if there are so many of them in the market we see Samsung fridges on a daily basis and there are three top things that break in Samsung fridges regardless of the model I don't want to scare you by saying that if you buy a Samsung fridge it will be broken of course not we are talking about less than 1% of units being broken in the first three four five years but Samsung is so consistent with these three issues that makes me worry. They never fix those glitches in the design, so they keep us and other appliance repair companies busy. Issue number three, the drain system issue. So you might realize that you have a water accumulated inside of the fridge compartment. And you think why it happens you haven't spilled up anything in there how it actually came up that there is a puddle on the bottom of the fridge compartment it's pretty much simple to explain the drain system is frozen or it's clogged or it's just a bad design so Samsung has all of these three aspects in it usually what happens due to the bad design of the defrost system and the drain channel your drain line is frozen or something stuck in there you have to defrost it and replace the uh, heater exchanger clip very common issue it's gonna cost you somewhere in between of two and three hundred Canadian dollars to solve this problem <music> Issue number two, ice maker problem. So you might find out that the quality of the ice is getting worse and worse, or suddenly it just stopped working and you wonder why it happened. At the same time, you might see the bucket with the ice where you, when you're trying to pull it out inside of the fridge compartment is stuck, so it's frozen. <laughs> Let's talk about physics. To freeze up the water and make the ice, you beat the temperature below zero Celsius. And when you put something which is supposed to be below zero into the fridge compartment, which must be above zero, it doesn't really make sense for me. So what happened in there? Due to the poor insulation of the inner chamber of the ice maker inside of the fridge, you have a temp temperature differences. And if the insulation is not really good, the ice maker won't do the job so it's gonna be frozen it's a very common issue of the Samsung fridge and you have to replace the ogre motor re-insulate the whole chamber sometimes you have to replace the ice maker itself because it's been broken due to the ice you're looking somewhere in between of three and five hundred Canadian dollars to solve the problem with the ice maker which is quite a lot issue number one defrost system problem so that's the most common issue and that's the most expensive thing to fix with your samsung fridge Unfortunately, twin cooling system, which has been made by Samsung, is not really reliable. Let's put it this way. To solve this problem, it's gonna cost you somewhere in between of 400 and 700 Canadian dollars. There are lots of parts involved in the process. The defrost sensor, the defrost heater, the, uh, the thermostat, the main control board. What we found out, the most common issue is the poor insulation of the evaporator area inside of the fridge compartment. So the evaporator line must be re -insulated 
inflated the cover must be replaced it's not supposed to be like that when your fridge is only five seven eight years old what's going on in here okay oh yeah it's gonna start yeah. it's starting so i mean like usually it's two to four weeks in yeah. your case it might be like as of now you still have like a month or two months mm -hmm. and then it happens again right you defrost it and it's gonna be it, yeah shorter 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 yeah like and then in the end it's gonna be no more than two weeks it's already like frost build up in here yeah but early signs of the uh, uh air leakage it's not supposed to be like that well i mean i guess so if we change the part where it's not we're good to go yeah let's just change it then I think. so this is the uh, fridge compartment of a breather cover this is some kind of a shield in between of the evaporator and the fridge temperature which is above the, this uh, zero celsius so it's protecting the uh, frozen air to get into the fridge compartment at the same time it has the evaporator fan so this part is blowing up the cold air inside of the fridge compartment so everything will be cold um, and won't have the temperature layers if you have a look at the uh, insulation layer in here you understand why it has a poor quality so the insulation line in here is not uneven you can see that as well as in here some kind of a uh, interesting wiggling things in here at the same time in here and i mean like in general that's not a good insulation <laughs> We replace on average five to seven evaporator covers for the Samsung fridge a week. I would say it's top five problems in whole appliance repair business. If you already own a Samsung fridge, let me know in the comments if you saw one of these issues. Or feel free to leave your question and I will do my best to answer all of them. Smash the like, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.